You let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha, <laughs> kids I... got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. I gotta work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Why that light don't bright on my camp? Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. 
We'll get through this. Keep the faith. For control, what's the status of our Kips Bay position? Observation post is live. Folks, you've no doubt heard about the riot at Empire State University. But this is not your usual mix. Underage drinking, entitled millennium. Attention all units. We have confirmed reports of an active bomb. Converge on Grand Central. Over. What, a uh, hundred counts of assaulting a stable agent? Now reports are coming in that Martin Lee, along with exhibiting freakish abilities like those of you-know-who, has lately seemed to display almost a split personality. <laughs> this is hogwash and a clear attempt to evade justice for his crimes. Only a fool would believe that he's Mr. Positive one moment, helping the poor with a smile, then suddenly he's Mr. Negative, blowing up way a minute. Mr. Negative. That's gold, Jared. Gold. Trademark it. Stat. <laughs> as I was saying, folks, Martin Lee's evil side, or as everyone is now calling him, Mr. Negative, has been revealed as the culprit for the City Hall bombing. There is no one my size, folk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Ah, means an egg, folk. All of life is means an egg. What's the end for these particular means? Freedom! True freedom! No more yeah. suits! No more rhino! Perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's Ruthie cut in, right? 
What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? <laughs> yes, yes, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. <laughs> Go around! 
Rhino's getting his suit removed. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Mother, Gargan has no principle. He fights for profit. Untrue. I'd rip my head face off for free. The one Buddy. Then leave your skull uncrushed? There is fun in that! Come here, now! I will teach you to throw real punch! My jaw's already absorbed that particular lesson, thanks! Octavius will do if he finds out you failed! I failed? Yes, you freak show! A little force together, 
time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Maybe. I've seen Osborne survive worse. He is a cockroach. An arrogant cockroach. Yeah, that elevator goes straight to his penthouse. I'm sure he's up there right now. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Off limits, ma'am. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right now. Security it's room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for your safety. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. I like this thing. <laughs> you knock him out. <laughs> Gotta turn him around. Continuing sector sweep. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. 
Elevator controls in the security room, next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Stupid useless button. Hmm. have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> So weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. What is this thing? Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Hmm, schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. The fabulous Osborne boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. A code. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? No. Okay, and where is the code? It's the combat prototype from the schematic. Schematic for the prototype mask. Norman seems to be pushing Oscorp towards defense work. Code. Oh, what's 
this way. Work order for key padlock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms. And a motto. Pax in Bello. Peace in War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, Hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow, haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick... Everything changed. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. be so carefree. I miss those days. Okay, uh, you know, you can take the new picture. You can find a key. What's this? Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. City's in a state of emergency, but 
Foreman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Hey, where is the key? Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, and he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Very not. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. No key in here. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Looks like Norman locked up Harry's room. I wonder why. I even find your king code. That's okay. Oh, what's this? Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Must be the key for Harry's room. Might have missed it earlier. <laughs> what? This can't be for Harry, can it?
Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. <clears throat> Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Sweep.
Continuing sector sweep. Okay, July 18. Bingo. Hello? Who's there? What was that? Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Norman Osborne, GR-27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Okay. We'll get that one now. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. <sighs> Kinda makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. <sighs> They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Nope, that's just a Sable patrol. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michaels' path. Nope, that's just a Sable patrol. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. That's not it. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. This can't be it. Where do these three categories overlap? That must be the lab's location. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. That's not it. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. A child's x-ray. But it's not Harry or Emily. Who is this? That aura around him. Is this Martin Lee? Looks like a map of the Upper West Side. Nope, that's just a Oscorp building, but no none of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. Hmm, looks wrong. Nope, that's just to see. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Norman's 
It's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Mm. AR interface. <laughs> Very slick. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. Where do these three categories overlap? That must be the lab's location. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. This can't be it. Dr. Strom, isn't he a robotics expert? Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels... No movement. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Commercial buildings... Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going up No. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath lab. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. Hmm, looks wrong. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. Nice! Got some overlap with Dr. Michael's path. Bravo, bravo, bravo. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27, Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. Oh, damn. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Breach. High alert. <laughs> Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Oh, 
hit through the balcony. Well, let's go right in that room again. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Continuing sweep. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks, partner. That fire going. <laughs> I have to get that anti serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh, no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon. I promise. More and more listeners are warning that the mayor's sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. Said it's quarantine. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go. Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of human rights. Your elected officials may not be willing to fight for you, but J. Jonah Jameson is. Reciting violence against peacekeepers. Open it. Have to take care of these demons before I can follow Lee into the lab. Time to KO those snipers.
these demons quick before Lee gets a hold of the anti-serum. Guys off still for me. Chewed through Sable. Lee's on the warpath. Easier to take these guys out if they're split up. Ding, ding. 
Spider-Man, leave now. My men will handle this. Sable? Lee wiped out the agents stationed here. They're not handling anything. You have been warned, superhero. <laughs> Web down that tower. Sable made good on her threat, but these guys aren't looking to team up. Tired of you harassing our agents, Spider-Man. This ends tonight. You guys think I took out your men? You gotta be kidding me! Go! 
Table are down. Time to follow Lee inside. Why are you so heavy? Oh crap, here we go. You harass my men, destroy my equipment, and cost my client millions. Give me one good reason I should not kill you right now. Listen, I don't like you, you don't like me. But Lee has your client inside this building right now, and he's gonna kill him if we don't do something. We could fight each other, or we could fight Lee, but not both. Does this mean we're good? You will help me secure Norman. After that, I make no promises. Works for me. <laughs> Lee's out of control. You secure Osborne. I will talk to them. Oh. Effort. Okay, Lee. No more running. This ends tonight. This is insanity. I have to find a way to reach the Martin Lee I know. The man who built Feast. down. to make my parents proud, to honor their legacy. But to truly honor them, Osborne must see justice. I won't let you do this, Mark. Lee, 
sees pain. His anger. It's fueling his power. I'm sorry. It was an accident. I was trying to help you. Yeah. You don't help people. You use them. This won't bring your parents back. Why do you insist? I'm trying to save this piece of scum! I'm trying to save you, Martin! Don't let revenge win. Fight it! my chance. He's been charging. Osborne's crimes will be on your head! Charging. No more. He's recharging. Time to make my move. This isn't you! This is exactly who I am!
Fight it, Martin! You can walk away! No! Osborne must suffer! be over soon. I sure hope so.
Paintball! Why do you have 10 backup? Way, Mark. Oh, no. Useless. Look on your face. You can't imagine how satisfying it is. Ready for your final act? not worry about him right now. He needs a hospital. No. No hospital. Feast. I need to speak to your head doctor. There's no doctors here. Well, who's running this place? Me, mostly. Oh, okay. Well, it's been a while, but I'll do my best. I'll need masks, uh, gloves, right. whatever you have to sterile. Thank you. You can thank me by not dying. Oh, my God.
He'll live. But he needs rest. They say she could go at any moment. Ah. Uh. Where are you going? I need to find Otto. He has the anti serum. <laughs> Maybe you can't. Maybe Spider-Man needs help from his friend Peter. What? Peter helped build those arms, remember? If anyone can find a weakness, it's him. Go get him, Tiger. That's not it. Maybe it's this one. Is it this? No. Ah, ah. Oh, oh, ouch. Hmm. Okay. I'm not. MJ's right. I built the neural interface. That means I can destroy it. There must be something at the lab I can use. Spider-Man. Hello. Man, I gotta change this number. I must leave New York. Recent events. Give me pause. Your rescue of Osborne, despite his hatred, it affected me. I must return home. Reflect on this life I choose. Dang. I think I'm actually gonna miss you and your death troopers. Unfortunately, my agents will stay. Though I question our work, they do not. And Osborne continues to pay. I am sorry. So close to being good news. Indeed. I will miss you and your bizarre witticism, Spider-Man. Until we meet again. What a strange, violent lady. Available unit. Officers have been ambushed by snipers. Did the impossible, Doc. But now I have to destroy it with a little creation of my own. A bank? Not gonna happen. <laughs> the world will know the truth before they mop you off the pavement. No! Oh! Tell them 
what you did. I... never... Everything you have is built on lies! LIES! You stole my company! My ideas! Now... The truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is... You were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me! The truth is... You could never accept that I'm better than you! You're a failure, Otto! And you always will be! <laughs> Otto, you've worked your whole life to help people. Please. You're fighting the wrong man. But have it your way. We don't have much time! Oh. Please! I'll turn over the anti-serum when Osborne pays for his crime! You've already done enough to ruin Osborne! No! He always 
bounces back. He had to lose everything.
you win. This means too much to me. Not more than it means to me. Too much to me! 
shit, you're making me do this! Ah! If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. <gasps> I couldn't agree more! Some people are missing this. Man. Peter, I saw oh. you as a son. I should have known you'd turn on me, just like all the others. Turn. Turn? I've worshipped you, your mind, your conscience, wanting to help others, the way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty. A responsibility to use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it, we have to do what's best for those beneath us, whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! You are everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh, I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. If you'll help me. Do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away! They'll take my arms! I'll be trapped in this useless body! Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter? Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter? still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. 
What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. I'll give you a few minutes. You're gonna be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to work. I did. And I am so proud of you. And Ben would be too. All the people you've saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. So? Hi, Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's... You're a scientist, a good one. In the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't gonna be ready for about a week, so I'm gonna be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know... You can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes, I mean, 
No, no, I don't I not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. Okay, gee. I'm not an expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. I'm getting too nervous. <laughs> hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. All right. Hey, so Pete? Yeah? I, uh, kind of got to talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like, physically. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your body starts to change. And nope, so you one. may be noticing some areas, no. for example. Nope. Not that. Not that. <laughs> uh, I think, it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you. I show no, you. No, 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 no. no. <clears throat> It's pretty weird, right? Not that weird. All right, let's get this. I want to get that. So close. But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. I will. I love you, son. What? You're back. How's your mom? Fine. Right back to complaining about not having grandchildren. So you're gonna take that vacation now? Are you crazy? There's no time for that. The apocalypse didn't happen, which means we've got a city full of loose ends to clean up. Sounds like a big job, but we're up to it. Not you. For a job this tough, we need Spider Cop. <laughs> you, you said it. You even did the voice. Okay, don't make it weird. You like me. You really like me. You made it weird. Let's go. We've got work to do. I can't wait. Spider cop surveys the city. Placid, but seething with turmoil just beneath its calm surface. Uh, what have I done? 